Hello everybody, my name is Bob, and I'm going to show you how to um, play an unarmed character in Skyrim. Uh, now, first off, uh, it, is, it is possible to play an unarmed character with a, a console version of the game. It's a lot easier with the PC version, because um, uh, you can do things to help yourself along, should I say. So, um, so yes, it is possible to do, uh, do a, a successful unarmed character uh, in the console version, uh, but the PC version is, is much easier. Uh, and um, uh, so, the, in this case, we're, basically you would want to um, uh, play an unarmed character for role-playing purposes. Th this, this, this character, whose name is complicated, what's his name? Uh, Kwama Do. Um, and um, uh, he is a uh, monk of the Whispering Fang style. Which, if you know your Black, uh, Dark Brotherhood uh, lore, there that the, one of the characters um, kills a, a whispering uh, Fang monk, um, or tells about it uh, in the, the early stages of your progress with the Dark Brotherhood. So um, uh, he's uh, here to to um, uh, to create shrines of Akatosh and to avenge his master who was killed uh, by the Dark Brotherhood. So we will be doing the uh, he'll be doing the um, destroy the Dark Brotherhood thing uh, now. Things you need for a successful uh, unarmed combat. Uh, well, first of all, the thing you might want to have if you're, you're if you're role playing a monk is um, uh, is robes, monk's robes. They're they're you're not readily available at the store. Uh, however, let's look at our map. Right about here, uh, sort of between right between uh, Plockreath and uh, Riverwood, uh, there is a hidden uh, shrine of Talos. Let's just go ahead and go there for, for grins. And maybe we'll get in some some trouble. I can show you a little unarmed in action. Uh, okay, a couple a couple mods you may find useful for this is uh, the I'll, I'll put the mods in the description. Uh, there is actually a mod for the uh, Whispering Fang Khajiit uh, character class uh, that gives you um, um, increased one uh, unarmed uh, combat. Uh, increased um, starting health and um, stamina, and also increased um, uh, health regen and uh, increased resistance to magic. Uh, so it's uh, when you first start out, this is a very o overpowered character. I mean, one hits everybody pretty much. Um, however, as your levels progress, um, he, uh, an unarmed character tends to fall further and further behind uh, his enemies unless uh, he he levels up a lot of um, enchanting. To to um, uh, to create um, uh, gauntlets and uh, rings of, um, of uh, fortify unarmed. Um, you can get the um, uh, the uh, gloves that give that allow you to, if you disenchant it. You can allow it allow you to um, uh, to get the uh, fortified unarmed enchantment. Um, there's a character in the Ratways of uh, Riften called Gian the Fist, and he has the the gloves of the pugilist is the name of the. The apparel that he has, uh, you can grab that, disenchant it, put it on heavy uh, armor gloves. Um, you want him, even though he's wearing a, uh, a clothing hood and clothing robe, he has heavy armor uh, uh, boots and heavy armor gloves. Um, that, that so he can he can he can level up a little bit of heavy armor. You want to level heavy armor to the point where you can get the. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, the Fists of Steel perk, uh, which allows you to, uh, uh, with attacks with heavy armor gauntlets, do their armor rating and extra damage, which is very cool. Um, other things you want to um, uh, level heavily, enchanting, you want to level that very heavily so you can keep your uh, the level of your um, um, of your um, uh, enchantment of the Fortify Unarmed up, and also so you can have um, um, higher magic and higher magic re regen, because you're going to want to have Another thing you're going to want to have is uh, alteration. Uh, that is for ma the mage armors, the, the uh, iron fist or iron. What the hell do you call that? Uh, the uh, nope. Uh, the oak flesh, um, stone flesh, and iron flesh, uh, and on up from there, uh, mage armors. So basically, spells you cast to increase your arm rating because he's going to be wearing clothes. Uh, he's a, a monk, not a warrior. 
Uh, so you're going to want to have some extra extra help um, when the, these guys uh, start beating on you with two-handed swords. So that that would be another thing you want to, to focus on leveling up is your alteration. Uh, don't level, but basically don't level anything you can get away with not leveling because uh, if you do level those things, then you, you'll, you can find that your enemies are getting a little more powerful. So you can you notice that you know like my my archery, my one-handed, two-handed are all extremely low. Uh, Basically, they're my st the same starting values as I start off with. Even sneak, which um, I almost always wind up leveling somehow, don't don't do it uh, because uh, what you'll do find out is that that um, because uh, you're not putting those perks into the things you absolutely need for an unarmed character, which would be heavy armor or the fist of steel. You don't really need it beyond that. Um, uh, uh, the um, Enchanting, nope, enchanting, and alteration, big three, right there. Uh, smithing is good too because you you, are, you will be wearing some armor uh, on the hands and feet, so uh, get, getting a little bit of smithing is good. Otherwise, don't level, don't level anything, pretty much. I mean, um, also one one trick for uh, leveling uh, heavy armor, even though you're you're wearing uh, robes to begin with, or ro robes as your normal apparel. Uh, you probably want to, to get yourself a set of uh, cheap heavy armor. It doesn't matter how cheap it is. You can be iron armor. Uh, go find yourself some mud crabs and let them attack you and then heal up or, or run away for a little while to, to get yourself healed up and then return and let them eat, you, eat on you again. That will level your heavy armor so you'll get the Fist of Steel perk. Uh, so that, that's, a, that's a good thing to do. Okay, let's go ahead and find this, uh, this little shrine. Which is somewhere right about here. Uh, as far as mods, uh, I mentioned the um, uh, the um, uh, the uh, Khajiit um, uh, Whispering Fang uh, character race. Uh, that's a that's a, a really good thing to to get if you're going to do an unarmed character. Uh, another uh, mod that's very interesting, to, the very worthwhile to get would be a um, a clothing mod, something that will allow you to uh, fabricate clothing uh, at a uh, uh, at a leather thing, you know. You know what I mean, left the thing. Okay, here's the, 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 the Shrine of Talos. And you can see that there's um, folks, there's monks around. There's a guy with monk's robes on. Uh, here's another guy with monk's ro robes on. I apparently already looted this place. Except for I didn't take the gold. Nope. Um, and so you can get some uh, monk's robes here, but I would highly recommend getting you the get, getting the mods. Oh, there, there's probably several of them out there that allow you to fabricate clothing. Uh, that's because um, you're going to want to um, uh, you wouldn't want to enchant these hoods and robes yourself uh, to get the maximum value uh, the, the for uh, the magic regen, which is the uh, the robes and the um, boost magic or, or fortify magic, which is the uh, hood. You know, you're going to want to get the math maximum values for that, but you can't. Um, so you're going to need to, to get something that will allow, allow you to uh, craft um, clothing, and then and those mods are out there because you're going to be your main main apparel is going to be clothing. So. Now you notice I've got my um, uh, my mage armor in one hand and the fist in the other. Let's see if we can find somebody who can. You you guys want to beat me up, don't you? I bet you do. Hi there. You picked a bad time to get Did lost. Did I? Oh! <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Come on. Let's do this thing. <laughs> so I, I just finished level up my enchanting and uh, getting new enchanted, um, uh, you know, gauntlets and stuff. So, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm at, at, at the moment I'm fairly badass. Uh, but I, I've got freshly enchanted uh, armor and everything. So uh, don't don't bother with if you're doing an unarmed character. Don't bother with arrows. Don't, don't bother with bows. Um,
I've got these uh, neat little throwing uh, knives. So I'll, I'll bring it up here. Actually, I got two things. I got shurikens, which of course they do a very minimum amount of damage. All right. Well, whatever. Usually you can see them. Uh, I've also got these um, throwing knives. Uh, but I don't use them that much. So. And I'm not sure whether those those um, those uh, fortify one hand or not. Oh, unfortunately, I just fortified one hand there. Well, well. c'est la vie. Such is life. But I mean, you can't you can't avoid ever uh, fortifying any of that other stuff. But but keep it to a minimum. In other words, if you're playing an unarmed character, don't switch between what unarmed and swords, or unarmed and you know, uh, warhammers. I, I do have a. This is another it's basically basically role playing, not and not for any other reason. I, I do have um, uh, these neat uh, neat uh, quarter staff from uh, use a quarter staff mod. I'll put in the uh, the um, description, and basically it's, it's like a war, warhammer, but it's uh, it's, in, it's uh, looks like a quarter staff, and uh, basically it's just sort of like you know looks neat. But but uh, I don't actually use it to speak of. Uh, it's um, yeah, it's not um, because that that will actually level your your two-handed. No, I don't really want that. Uh, so um, you pretty much have to um, uh, have to only level things that you need for your 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 unarmed lifestyle. <laughs> uh, another interesting thing to to get. Uh, If you're um, uh, role-playing the uh, the religious life, um, is uh, there's mods that allow you to um, have placeable candles. Uh, I'll go ahead and um, I'll activate that, and you can light it up, and so on. So you can you know, create shrines. You can, if you have a PC, you can create uh, shrines of whatever deities you wish through the console, uh, and. Um, Uh, and um, you can uh, illuminate them as they should be, because God knows that uh, you can't have decent religion without candles. Uh, and you make the candles at, in a cooking pot um, uh, with things such as you can use troll fat, or you can use um, beehive husk, or you can use um, uh, also horker meat. <laughs> horker meat. Oh, hey, bud. Uh, just in general, just. For any build, I would recommend uh, the jumping high mod. Uh, it's, it's really adds a lot to your Skyrim experience, I think. You'll be able to do a little parkour. Also, if you're playing an itinerant monk, uh, the uh, camping kit of the Northern Ranger, Ranger is very cool. That's what I have here. Um, very useful mod because uh, uh, he doesn't have a house. He's not. He's not into that uh, that bourgeois lifestyle. He's a he's a, a wandering monk, uh, and um, and so there there he is. Yes. Also, if you're uh, uh, playing a um, a uh, sort of a wandering okay, well that all spilled out. Uh, a wandering monk lifestyle. Um, obviously, monks are religious folks, and so uh, you can create shrines using that the candle mod that I spoke of, uh, and also uh, if you well if you uh, have PC version you can uh, use a console code to spawn a uh, a shrine of well whatever uh, whatever of the local deities as you want and it's a it's a working shrine uh, I can get right way around those thistle batches you can activate activate shrine of Ektash okay um, my uh, my bowl for containing the offerings uh, had a failure of some sort Oh well, so much for that. Yeah, basically, this is the only reason why you play an unarmed character really is uh, this for role playing. If you get get dulled with whoa, you dealt, uh, get bored with them. You know, the usual hack and slash or the usual mage characters. You can uh, RP um, uh, a uh, 
a monk. Uh, and uh, he's, he's this guy is uh, actually about to have a um, a uh, about to have a, a monk traveling partner. There's a um, uh, there's a, a quest you can do in uh, Dawnstar, uh, which <coughs> excuse me, which will um, uh, it, which if uh, completed. Uh, basically, the, the the inhabitants of Donsar are having bad dreams, and you help this priest of Mara uh, to um, uh, to uh, resolve that. Uh, and that if, once you do successfully do that, uh, he becomes available as a follower. So, if you want to um, to have an, a fellow a priest fellow traveler on your travels as a wandering monk, uh, wandering martial arts monk, um, then um, then you can uh, perhaps do that quest and get him as a uh, as a follower. And he's actually a pretty decent follower too. Okay, <clears throat> if you're going to use the um, the uh, mud crab method of uh, leveling up uh, heavy armor, because if you're just wearing two parts, of, two pieces of heavy armor, it's going to take you forever to level up to get the uh, fists of steel perk. But you can speed that along by um, ooh, money. Uh, you can speed that along by um, uh, by just getting yourself a set of cheap ass heavy armor. Uh, and coming out here and uh, give it you can see my, I dropped dubbed a bunch of my, my armor and shit over here uh, um, so I was over here working and, and stuff uh, but anyway you can find yourself a mud crab let him chew on you till your health is getting low uh, then um, uh, hey mud crabs uh, and then um, uh, the heal up or, or wait until your your uh, health restores and then you do it again uh, that'll level up your heavy armor pretty quickly and that that will allow you to get the fist of steel perk, which you really need to have if you're doing an unarmed character, because uh, unarmed character is a constant um, battle between um, you basically your, your ability to enchant uh, and um, anybody else. Don't mess with Kui Chang Chain, Kui Chang Kitty Cat. Um. Basically, uh, uh, if you're doing a um, uh, an unar unarmored um, uh, playthrough, uh, you're in a constant race between uh, how fast your enemies are leveling up uh, and um, uh, how how fast your enchanting is level leveling up. Because um, aside from the the fist of steel perk, uh, the enchanting is the most important part of a uh, unarmed playthrough. Because you're gonna need to keep that that um, uh, your um, uh, enchanted uh, gauntlets. Uh, so I'll show you. Uh, I got um, the Dwarven Gauntlets of Smackdown, which I created, uh, that does uh, eight additional damage, and the uh, Sapphire Ring of Fist, which does another eight additional damage. Uh, so um, uh, you got your your base um, uh, your base unarmed damage plus the bonuses for either being a Khajiit or a Khajiit uh, Whispering uh, Fang Monk, uh, you know, plus all your enchanting, plus Fist of, Ch of Steel when you get that. So um, if you keep your enchanting up, you can keep keep up with the well, your your the difficulty of your enemies. But uh, uh, you you really have to keep up with that and not level other things, and not level archery, not level sneak, not level anything else except for just the the, the core uh, basic you know enchanting and alteration are the most important. Um, Heavy armor to the point where you can get the fist of steel perk, uh, and um, uh, a little bit of smithing is nice to you know so that the, the armor you do have is, is of higher quality. Um, but though that basically that you should not not be thinking about leveling any el other thing up. No alchemy, uh, well you you sort of un can't avoid leveling speech. No pickpocket, no lock picking, no sneak, no light armor, no archery, no one handed, no two handed to speak of. Although I leveled it just a little bit. No block. Only these things: uh, heavy armor, a little bit of smithing, not too much, enchanting and alteration. The big two are enchanting and alteration, um, and 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 heavy armor up to the point where you can get to, to the uh, fist of steel, but not pot, not not past that point. Uh, and I'm, I'm finding that it's it's a lot of fun to play. Um, uh, unlike most of my characters, he's he's kind of a, a goody two shoes. And uh, yeah, sort of kind of goes around trying to help help people and stuff, as well as you know beating the hell out of the occasional bandit. Oh, but only if they attack him first. So he's got he's got rules. He doesn't uh, doesn't uh, go out of his way to uh, to find conflict. Uh, but uh, he's not uh, not ill equipped for it when it comes. But um, 
so I'm, I'm finding it rather rather uh, entertaining to um, to play uh, this character. Uh, very different from most of the characters I play. Very much sort of a goody two shoes guy. Um, you know, not not uh, he's not not completely non-violent, but he's uh, uh, but he's um, uh, sort of restricted violence. Uh, but but unrestricted violence against like the undead and stuff. If you're, if you're undead or things of that nature, or like evil magic users, necromancers, Daedric, uh, Daedric followers, then, then all bets are off. But uh, who's that guy running there? I think he needs blessings of, of Akatosh. Blessings of Akatosh, brother. How can I help you? Oh, he's run off. Go, come! You need to, you need some blessings on you. Come back here. Well, he's run like crazy, man. Who is this dude? He's a Khajiit. Yes. Oh, he's a thief. Okay. Maybe he's running away from the popo. Uh, you'll probably find if you're if you're playing this this type of uh, character that, that that money can be a little bit of a problem. I mean, he's not desperately poor. He's got fifty eight hundred, but you know, uh, he's uh, he's definitely not a, a a path for to riches. Um, uh, Brown Hood. Uh, if you get the the um, uh, the one of the mods that allows you to craft clothing, I definitely recommend getting that uh, for this kind of playthrough. Uh, Dwarven boots, because you know everything you can get for heavy armor is a good thing. Um, although although at this point it doesn't matter as much because it's still got the uh, pistol steel perk. Uh, Dwarven boots. Uh, Dwarven gauntlets with uh, unarmed attachment uh, or unarmed enchantment. Uh, ring with unarmed enchantment. Uh, monk's robe with the uh, gener uh, magic regeneration. The brown hood has the increased magicka, uh, and the um, uh, the necklace has increased magic. So, um, although you know, I'm, although I'm only really leveling alteration and enchanting, um, he's, he he can cast some fairly high level spells now um, because of the he's been leveling and enchanting so much. Uh, but you can't enchant those robes uh, unless you have some way of getting the unenchanted robes to begin with, so that's why I would recommend getting the uh, getting the um, uh, mod that allows you to craft um, craft your own clothing. Okay, here you can see the, the clothing uh, mod in, in action. Uh, you use a tanning rack to uh, use it. Uh, you do leather as normal, of course, and then you can do all these kinds of craft all these kinds of clothes. And most of them require leather or leather strips. Some of them vampire dust. Th those apparently require vampire dust, for whatever reason. Really. Um, but um, you know, chef's chef's tunics, if you want. Uh, camping kit, the 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 the, the, uh, the camping uh, camping kit of the Northern Ranger Rangers that that mod uh, and it's uh, very worthy. Uh, so anyway, you can you can craft all this shit and and uh, for this uh, for for a mage a mage uh, uh, role generally, but also for especially for this role. Being able to enchant your own robes is a big deal. So normally, you kind of have to put up with whatever it is that you can find that's the best thing you can find, right? You can't enchant those things yourselves, generally. Uh, not 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 robes. I mean, you can you can enchant armor if you want to, but if you're if you're trying to, to look the part, you can't really enchant robes because there aren't a great deal of there aren't any enchanted robes uh, enchantable uh, robes uh, that look worth a damn. Uh, you know, so the. the if, if you want to be able to look the part, you probably want to get that mod, uh, which I would highly recommend. Oh, and um, uh, here you can see. Oh nope, not campfire. Uh, if you want to um, uh, take your RP this far, you have you can see how you can make uh, make uh, candles uh, for your religious devotions. Out of mammoth snout, spout, spout, mammoth snout, orker meat, troll fat, and beehive husk. 
Now, beehive husk is very hard to get, so you're probably better off getting uh, orc meat, which is very easy to get. Uh, let's see what else you, you uh, I could recommend for this kind of playthrough. Um, I guess that's about it. I'll, I will I will mention something as I think of it. Uh, the, the smithing stuff is not uh, part of the camping kit. I, I just spawned that through console because I get tired of waiting for the, the chick to, you know, get out of my way when I go into go into smith. So probably need to put it on an enchanting table and uh, and. Um, uh, oh, not alchemy. Enchanting table here too. Um, but uh, yeah, again, you don't want to level anything other than those, those like four things: um, the uh, alteration and uh, enchanting, a little bit of smithing is okay, and uh, heavy armor only, only to the point where you can get the fist of steel perk. When you're doing a RP type of um, um, of game gameplay, you know uh, it's really not about beating the game or you know. Uh, achieving, achieving X goal, or you know, beating the crap out of Alkatosh, or not Alkatosh, uh, uh, Alduin, uh, or any of that really. It's basically about um, uh, about uh, sort of having a, a life, playing a role in Skyrim. You know, uh, it's not about not about uh, beating the game. It's you know, when you when you first start, it's it's important to to to, to uh, you know play the game legitimately and and not um, uh, not. Uh, Put in a bunch of um, put put them in a bunch of spin to to uh, what you're doing. You know, you should when you first first start playing the game, you should play the game. You know, uh, but at some point, you, you it, it's no no longer about um, playing the game. It's about enjoying your 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 sort of life in the Skyrim. You're, you're enjoying your Skyrim experience, uh, adding to your Skyrim experience. And so, uh, a RP character like um, an unarmed monk uh, might be something you'd want to do, or you know, there's uh, of course myriads of other other um, possibilities. There's people who are role play as bums, <laughs> who actually actually RP as bums. Uh, you know, uh, although uh, I don't know if there's any mods that may help help with that because you know obviously in the, in the, the the vanilla game you can't you know accept donations or anything like that. So I don't know how that works. But anyway, um, uh, basically. Um, Skyrim RP is for, for, you know, you've already played the, the hell out of the game and you're looking for ways to, to, to make it interesting, to, to add to your Skyrim experience. Uh, and I think that, that that is one way you can do that. Okay, I'm here in Dawnstar, uh, having completed the uh, Night, Nightcaller temper, Temple quest. Uh, I can pick up this guy uh, as a follower who is a priest of Mara. Uh, so, um, uh, if you want to, as, as part of your RP experience, you may want to have a fellow priest as a companion. Um, he also happens to be a very good follower. Um, not like that Lydia, uh, but he's he's a he's a, a magic user and he's pretty good. Okay, that's about all. <coughs> if I ha if there's anything I haven't tr uh, dealt with uh, as far as uh, playing an unarmored char uh, unarmed character, he's also mostly unarmored but uh, unarmed character. Uh, if there's anything that I, I I have not um, uh, talked about or you have any questions about. Please absolutely feel free to, to ask a question in the comments, and I will uh, answer that question as soon as I can. Um, again, uh, big things uh, to, to do are uh, one: you need to probably need to ought to be either a Khajiit or if you download the mod, get the, the Khajiit um, uh, uh, Whispering Fang Monk uh, uh, playable race. That's a, a big plus. Uh, two: uh, uh, you want to get the um, uh, the gloves of the Pugilist. Uh, from uh, Gion the Fist down the, in the Ratway in Riften. Uh, and um, uh, three um, uh, level uh, heavy armor just to the point where you get the uh, Fists of Steel perk. Um, the the, the uh, gloves of the Pugilist, you're going to want to disenchant them and put that enchantment on heavy, ar heavy armor gauntlets because the Fists of Steel perk only work with uh, heavy armor gauntlets. So uh, you want to, to disenchant the, the gloves of the Pugilist Put that enchantment on the um, the heavy armor gauntlets you have. Um, so uh, and uh, uh, level alteration for uh, for mage armor uh, and um, uh, enchantment of course to keep your um, uh, enchantment for uh, uh, fortify unarmed up and other enchantments as well up. You know, you'll need all those. Uh, that's about all. But again, if you have any questions about uh, playing uh, as an unarmed character uh, or uh, any other similar role playing scenarios, uh, I am more than happy to. Uh, talk to you about it just uh, leave a comment uh, in the comments below 
Uh, that's all for right now. And until next time, hasta la vista. Adios! He's a happy kitty. Happy kitty. Actually, he's a, kind of a scary looking kitty. Never mind that. Okay, goodbye.